Good evening, I'm Noel Okel, sitting in for Alicia Ambrosio today, and you are watching Perspectives Daily, up next. Now, first up on Perspectives, World Youth Day 2016 is just around the corner. And in over a week, our Salt and Light team will be on the ground in Krakow, along with a million other youths from all over the world, to bring you live coverage of the many events and special programs. To prepare for this, World Youth Day Organizing Committee has put together a little promo that's taking the internet by storm. Let's have a look. Are you ready? And for more details on our World Youth Day coverage, visit our website at saltandlighttv.org. And so, it's not every day that the Pope casually stops by for a visit. So you can imagine the look of surprise on the faces of the staff of the Pontifical Commission for Latin America yesterday, when the Holy Father knocked on the door of the Commission shortly after 9 a.m. Rome time, saying, I thought I'd stop by, can I come in? After a half hour's conversation with the ranking official on the site, Pope Francis greeted the office workers one by one, pausing for pictures. The Holy Father decided on the surprise visit after a dental appointment in the Vatican. However, after being informed by a security team of the complicated security protocols involved in such impromptu visits, Pope Francis simply responded, don't worry, we're in God's hands. And now, some sad news from the Vatican yesterday. Polish Archbishop Zygmunt Zygmowski, head of the Pontifical Council for the Health Care Ministry, died July 13th at the age of 67. Born in Poland on April 7, 1949, he was ordained a priest in 1973 and later earned a degree in dogmatic theology. In 2009, Pope Benedict appointed him president of the Pontifical Council for Health Care Ministry, an office that promotes activities to help the church agencies and individuals who serve the sick and suffering. Its work often overlaps with doctrinal questions regarding bioethics and end-of-life issues in medical treatment. Having been ill for some time, the Archbishop was convalescing in his home in Poland, where he died. He will be greatly missed. And finally now, I leave you with this. Not only is Cardinal Baldessari, the General Secretary of the Synod of Bishops, a man of great faith and holiness, it also turns out that he is a man of great musical talent. From all of us here at Salt and Light, we thank you for joining us and we will see you next week. Music is, is prayer. The classic music is, is prayer. Always. As a priest, I I have a vocation to um, to live and to uh, to testify the, the, and the, to to preach the gospel, uh, and then uh, uh, we we have the opportunity to to study very deeply uh, on this matter and to serve the the, the church. At, at the people.